Hey guys, how you doing? As you know, Halloween is coming and for that occasion we we'll throw a big party. And so now I'm going to design the Facebook cover so that we can upload it on Facebook as an invitation poster for our friends to come over because we want to go to the party with no friends. So let's jump right into the tool to make this cover. It's called designbone.com. It's totally free. You can go there, create an account and then click on the collection page in the top left hand corner. Okay, since this cover is for Halloween, I will type into the search bar Halloween, nice and clear. Okay, ooh la la, here are we. As you can see, there's a tons of templates provided which I find really helpful because I myself not a professional graphic designer and it is hard for me to imagine what a good cover should look like. If you're like me, Design Bow will give you a range of options right here. Just pick the one you like. But wait a minute, I think I'm having a heck of a good mood today and I'm going to create a unique design on my own. The create new button, look at the top bar. Oh, thanks, create new. Sure, I love new things. So now we're directed into a new page. So this page provides recommendations on the type of design are being made. I'm designing a Facebook cover. Here's the, the standard size of the cover. Um, 815 plus uh, 351 pixels, blank page, let's begin. Okay. Uh -huh. So first of all, for the background, you can choose the plain color or you can add a little texture available down here. Um, um, like, uh, let's see. Oh, this background, I like this. Drag and drop. One of the key to design Halloween atmosphere, uh, machi stuff is to using dark and groomy color. Okay, for the second step, you may want to decorate your invitation with some ornaments. We're lucky because Design Mode provides many free materials. Let's search for the keywords related to the Halloween topic. For example, um, scary, you can just type Halloween uh, is simpler. Here you can find many handsome images. So I found these arms are super interesting. Let's testing it. All right, I decided to put them into the corner. It's pretty cool, right? Scale them a little bigger to suit the overall. A little bigger. Yes, a little adjustment. Mm. We'll see. I think I will put the text box into the middle of my invitation design. A little bigger with the hand. Okay. For the next elaborations, I will add more items overarching the arms and I will leave the center empty so that I can write some words in between two arms. Again, this is just my idea. You can play with your imagination as much as possible. Keep in mind that this Facebook cover should make your friends to come over to your party. Just like a friendly invitation, something that isn't too professional and should be as fun as can be. To do that, I used some Halloween related images. Some pumpkin, a big moon, scary bat. If I want to put the spider net backward, I can click on this button. And I want a big spider on my spider net. Okay, scale it a little bigger. What a predictable concept. A little side note is that you are only given full permission to use the features which have the free tag like this. 
the ones that don't have free tech apparently cost some money. But uh, honestly, free features are more than enough. Only pay money if you really need to. Oh, I like this cool cap. However, it's the same color with the moon, so let's try something else. Um, we can use the grave, some animal school cap. Oh, there you see, if the items involve this kind of tech, that means you have to pay for it. I don't like to pay, so let's just grab a free design. Um, above here, I find this castle. Move it a little higher. I think I move the bot forward. Okay, and this time I will click forward. Move the moon to the higher position. All right, I think we're good to add some text. Uh, as for the second step, of course, is to give uh, clear information of your party. The invitation needs to be concise in order to grab attention effectively. Click this button and you should get to the text session. Simply click on the art heading and an editable text box will appear. Double click, type Halloween. One of the great things is that Design Bowl makes it available with a div diversity of text adjustments. So you can also change the color obviously. Um, like this orange. Um, can also use a more eccentric typography like this Amatics. It looks like a handwriting. It look more natural. All right, now move to the party's names. I'll call it um, Potluck Party. I will move it to the center of the design. Let's see which phone is distinguishable. Great, I like this phone. Amarath, yeah. Obviously, I was changing the color. Maybe the white color. I don't know, I like light and shine. Little higher. Little adjustment. Okay. I think I'm putting too much effort into this design. Let's add some subheading text in which gives more info about my uh, parties, dates and place. Like on Monday, 31 October 2016. You can review some of the given template to learn how to make your design look more impressive. As in this case, I can add pink ribbons to the cover. Send it backward. A little modification this in there. Uh, all right, I think it's done. Now let's click the download button in the top menu bar. You may change the name of the design if you want to. And also, we gotta choose the format of the file. I recommend PNG because it's the best for uploading to social network. The process to make a design on your own can be wrapped up into three steps. First, choose the background. Second, decorate with the images. And finally, add important information. Make sure the overall is cute enough to grab attention. And that's it. I hope you get a great party. Happy Halloween. See ya. Halloween, Halloween, creepy crawly Halloween.
trick or treating all in fun. October 31st has come.